We have been waiting on PSVR 2 details forever, and today is finally the day we're getting some details, and we already found out it has one feature that is not in any other modern VR headset. Let's talk about it. A facial venting system that pull, helps pull air through the mask to keep your lenses from fogging. And this might sound like a crazy revolutionary thing for VR since we just haven't had it yet, but actually the Samsung Gear VR developer kit back in the day had a fan and we haven't seen one since then besides third party aftermarket support like the Bobo VR F2 fan that I use on my Quest 2. That is probably the biggest news of this PSVR 2 announcement. Besides, of course, we actually have images. So you can see here, it looks like it's gonna match the PS5 aesthetic. They actually did put some white and black on the whole entire design. The controllers that we were worried were gonna be just all black are gonna be black and white matching the PS5. The headset itself, we see four cameras, very similar to the Quest 2 design of cameras for the inside out tracking. They have confirmed that they have made this lighter weight and a smaller form factor than the original PSVR. We already knew there's going to be haptics inside the headset, which is another feature that we haven't seen any VR headset ever have. Totally revolutionary to the VR industry. It of course still has the 4K HDR visual fidelity that we heard in the previous announcement. And they've said there's gonna be similar details like the VR Sense controllers are gonna have little PlayStation logo branding on them. And beyond that there, we just have to examine the pictures. But one of the pictures that I'm really interested in shows the facial interface, the part that touches your face around the headset, it almost looks like a accordion design where it looks like as you push it closer, that padding will come in. I'm kind of hoping they stick with the original rubber type padding they used on the original PSVR because I really like that. It felt good. It didn't hold sweat and a lot of other headsets since then have had problems getting good padding that doesn't cause irritation to the face, which the original PSVR did not have. They mentioned something here that was interesting. They said, the PS5 console has flat edges as is meant to be displayed on a flat surface, while there was more emphasis on adding roundness to the design of the PSVR 2 headset because it's meant to have constant human contact, similar to the rounded edges of the DualSense controller and Pulse 3D headset. So they're really trying to stick to the aesthetic of the PS5 while making this super friendly for people because you're constantly putting it on, taking it off, passing it to your friend. I am super pumped about this. We still don't have a date or a price, of course. So what do you think? What's the date? What's the price? And are you gonna get one? I'm absolutely getting one day one if I can. I really wanna try this out just for the new features and the haptics and the controllers, the adaptive triggers and the controllers. I cannot wait for this. So let me know what you think out there in the comments. Hopefully we'll get some more details soon. I'll keep you posted. I wanna say thank you for coming and hanging out with me today and I will see you in another reality.